Hello, Taurus. Welcome to your weekly oracle reading with me, Sarah from Divinely You. Thanks for the grace and the space for a week off. I had some life happen and I got a new oracle deck. And I'm so excited to share with you um, this week's reading. And so um, astrologically speaking, of course, we had Mercury go direct in your sign. Um, we have Uranus in your sign. Um, and then Saturn has gone retrograde in Aquarius. Um, which could potentially be squaring you. I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't say that because I don't know that one for sure. Um, but we still have Jupiter and Mars in Aries and um, Neptune's in Pisces and lots of other things. Pluto's still retrograde in Capricorn. And so, um, but I really love the reading that I have for you. Um, so I, the new deck is called the Sacral Chakra Oracle Deck. And so if you're not familiar with the Sacral Chakra, it's um, your reproductive and your creative. So it's your sexual energy, it's your creative energy. And so I think it's really interesting that you got the desires card and uh, just really like um, from a sacral perspective, like what do you desire? Like, what are you really desiring in this life for this life for yourself? Like, um, and are you willing to honor those desires? And this is not just obviously about sexual energy, but this is about creative energy. And like, what do you want to create in the world? What do you desire to create in the world? And um, coupled with from the Believe in Your Own Magic Oracle deck, you got the library card, which is writing, rewriting your own narrative. So you get to tap into, this is such a juicy energy for you, right? Because this is an opportunity for you to... Um, rewrite your narrative and and be with the, your desires what you really crave what really is orgasmic energy for you what really turns you on creatively speaking maybe sexually speaking but i'm going to speak creatively because i really feel like with the with the rewriting your own narrative um library card like that's what this is speaking to is really um, rewriting your story and taking that opportunity, you know, with Mercury turning back on and communication and just re like re upping your desires. Um, but I really love the artwork on this deck. It's so stunning. Um, it's by the Zen goddesses. It's beautiful. And, um, I just, that's the energy that I'm feeling for you is like, this is just an opportunity for you Taurus to, um, really, honor what you desire and live it out loud um fearlessly obviously fearlessly living it out loud and not being afraid to like share your desires with others share your story with others and creating a new version of how you really want your life to go from like a like I said from like an orgasmic perspective from an or from what turns you on what lights you up that's what this is about this is not being afraid to um share your your desires with the world and creating a life that you desire I think that we get so sidetracked societally on like um being judged for what we really want in this life and i think that we can all say that that is now bullshit and go after what we want so i hope this was good for you this was such a juicy reading i'm sorry if i'm not giving it all the energy i'm still like dealing with allergies and stuff so i'm kind of not 100 yet but i'll come back and <laughs> um but anyways, so yeah, definitely tap into to what you really want in this life and really feel into it and rewrite that story, write your own narrative, create your own library of books that you really want to read or really want to share with the world. So I hope you found this to be helpful, Taurus. And uh, if you would like a private reading with me where I bring all the tools I have in my toolbox, um, I would love that. So you can just contact me below and I will see you on the next reading. Thank you so much for tuning in and I appreciate you sending you a ton of love.